a few free hours, so I am gonna go walk around at Greenfield Village and I'll take you along with me. This is my first time ever going to Greenfield Village alone. I'm always with somebody. I think I might like this. See the two or the white ones over there? They're gonna be back out at three o'clock. Yeah. That's Tom and Henry. You can pet them, but still need to ask the driver. Okay. Yeah, he'll be out at three o'clock. Cool, thanks. I have my free ride pass right here. There's three rides, the train, the merry-go-round, and the Model T cars. Oh, no, no, no. train coming in. Hopefully I can make it over there. There's the old steam engine. Smells just like sulfur. So I'm going to go sit all the way to the back of the train because when the steam blows out, it blows out a lot of dust with it. Here we go. First stop is Henry Ford's Mountain Beauty, Susquehanna Station. Here's where Walnut Grove is. I'm going to show you. It's right there. This is the home of the Giddings. It said that they were from New Hampshire. The house was built on a hill overlooking the Exeter River and was first occupied by the family of John Giddings, who became the capital of New Hampshire in 1751 represents a time in the colony where it had five rooms and five fireplace places to heat each room. I don't know if anybody's ever heated their house with a fireplace, but it's a lot of work. Every time you load the fireplace, you've got a new mess to clean up. You have chips of wood and bark everywhere. This is a home from the 1700s, and this is the way the homes were built in England, and most of them were made of limestone. Yeah, I didn't even realize there were stone shingles there. Wow. And you can go around the back too, it's beautiful. Yeah. So, like they said, most of the people that lived in these houses were masons. So okay. even the fencing. Okay, yeah. yeah. Look at the cool stone fencing. And then how they put the top row standing up and down. Look at that. It's like a... It's like a fort. And I'm interested to know what are these little holes in the wall up there? Does anybody know what that would be for? And this is the Cotswold Forge. Blacksmiths used to heat and shape iron into items such as tools and hardware. By the late 1800s, the blacksmithing trade had changed. Cheaper standardized goods, made in large factories and transported by railroad, made blacksmithing less profitable. Only decorative goods made in the blacksmith's shop really died out. It carries on to this day in a very limited fashion. It is September 10th and I'm back at Greenfield Village again. Let's go see the Merino sheep. There's a nice chicken. Oh, look at this big chicken. Oh, you're a pretty one. Oh, look at That's you. Nice. Oh, we got our oh, you're such a nice boy or girl. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's Charlotte's web up there. I don't see Charlotte, but I see the smart pig. Okay, you guys, you stop fighting. See you later. Bye. This is a real chicken coop. Come to Greenfield Village, you'll be sure to have a fun time. Photo 
taken. Oh, these cars are these cars are very, very, very durable. Extremely quiet, extremely smooth. This is my gas up here. My right foot is the brake. Okay. My left foot is the gear shift. So for me to go, I give it gas and I push down on the left pedal. That's low gear. So pick up on that, let that pedal come up. Now it's high gear. And I just give it a little gas and off we go. For me to stop, I have to hit the left pedal halfway down. That's neutral. And then my right foot all the way down is brake. Stop. Then we have adult beverages. Hot <laughs> chocolate, right? Well, or a snowshoe or a whatever. Well, this was a really nice ride. Thank you. You are entirely welcome. My pleasure. Bye. And if everybody is good boys and girls, you can get a Model T stamp.